A very common process, you know, any guy who's going to restore a car, you know, you're going to have to fill a dent at some point. And uh, the process, whether you're doing a big dent or a small dent, is all about the same because you, you know, you want to make sure that your body fillers are no thicker than a quarter inch tops. And I really recommend about an eighth inch. You don't want to go thicker than an eighth inch because then you know, the thicker the body filler gets, the more prone it is to actually fail. And the process to actually fill a dent is the, you know, pretty much universal regardless of, you know, how big or the, the size of the dent. So let's, uh, we got a, one of our little donor hoods here. We'll, uh, we've got a couple of dents up in the front here that we're going to, you know, fill in real quick and show you the process of actually uh, prepping the surface and filling the dents and, uh, and sanding them out. To begin, we're going to get this area down to bare metal. Uh, one of, you know, you could use paint stripper. We've used some paint strippers and some abrasive fillers on this hood before. This is a paint and, uh, paint and rust removal disc or prep disc. It's made by 3M. This one in particular fits on my, uh, my polisher. And does a good job of getting the paint and the surface ready, getting the paint off and the surface ready to accept body fillers. Before I get too far, I should probably put my safety glasses on. Always a good idea when you're uh, working with flying material. As you can see, the abrasive disc has done a good job of actually getting in and getting, you know, not only the, uh, the paint and the primers off, but also prepping the surface. You can see the surface has a little bit of tooth to it. And what that does is it creates a good place, a good surface for body fillers to actually attach. It's important to recognize that body fillers and primers and paint not only adhere with a chemical process, but also a mechanical process. So you want a little bit of tooth to that surface, so it's got something to stick to. We're going to kind of work this little spot here and see if we can get some more of that paint out of this dent. On this particular hood, or on this panel, we really can't get to the back side. So if we wanted to, uh, you know, take these dents out, there's, it's a solid double panel here. So, you know, we're in a case where we could, you know, you could, if you had a stud welder, you can, you know, weld studs onto these and pull them out. But really, they're not that deep, so we're going to just go ahead and fill them. With the surface prep, we'll just get the, the body filler mixed up and, and we'll get that filled. Once we have the filler mixed up, and much like mixing it, you wanna you wanna kind of pull the body filler in one direction. It's when you start like going bat one one way and then the other that you start trapping air into the. Uh, body filler. And I never assume that like I'm going to get all of the body filler I need in the first path. Most cases you'll find that uh, 
you know, it'll take you a couple of rounds before you have enough filler in there to complete the job. With that, we'll wait, and then as soon as that hardens up, we'll be ready to sand. Okay, we've waited about 15 minutes, and now the body filler has gotten hard enough where we can actually sand it. Uh, to sand it, we'll be starting, because it's just a small area, we'll be starting with an 80 grit uh, paper. Uh, I prefer to use a hand sander. Uh, they do have, you know, inline pneumatic sanders. I find you get in a lot of trouble real quick with those. And also a DA is not a, you know, while it does a good job of removing a lot of filler in a hurry, it's not a good tool to actually block out and get the surface smooth and flat. So I really encourage you to get a good hand sander. I prefer a stick it or a hook it ones where you can like, you know, use the paper over and over again. Or if you want to switch to a lighter one, you can do that pretty easily. Uh, Again, it's uh, you want to get a you know it's a staple of doing any body work. I do probably ninety percent of my body filler leveling with just this sander. Um, and to start out, we'll go at like about a thirty or forty-five degree angle, and then we'll come back and we'll also come across in just the opposite way in a cross hatch. Okay, you can see that uh, we've, already, we've made some good progress on getting these dents filled. There was another dent up here that uh, apparently we're starting to fill too. This old, this old demonstrator hood here, he's got a few dents all over the place. But, like I say, we've, we've made good progress, but you can see, even though we've like filled it and sanded it, we still have a few spots that are actually lower than the, uh, the areas we've sanded. So we need to apply another coat of body filler, bring these areas up, and we should be able to get it on the next time around. And that should get us close to being done there. We'll let that Bondo sit and sand it off once that hardens. Okay, we've now waited at least uh, another 15, 20 minutes and uh, our body filler is hard again. We're ready to uh, sand off the second coat. Again, we'll go in a crosshatch motion and keeping the, trying to keep the, your body, uh, your, body sander as flat on the surface as possible. You know, the hood itself has a little bit of a crown, so you want to work it back and forth, but you want to try to bring down the whole surface. If you look, the uh, we've got these, the dents we were working on are filled really nicely at this point. We're going to next follow up with some lighter grade paper. There is still a dent here, but this isn't one that we picked out that we were working on. Like I said, this this whole hood's got more than a chair dent. It's been in a few hailstorms. 
So we're going to follow this up now with, follow the 80 grit up with some 180 grit and bring this down a little bit closer. Again, we're using stick it type sandpaper. We can get it on a roll. The, uh, well, this is an 18 inch sander. You can get sanders, you know, much longer. I know the guys that like sand on boats and stuff like that, they'll even custom make their own and have like a four or six foot long sander. And then you can just use the roll sandpaper to the cut that to the length you need. Now that we're happy we got that with the 180, we'll finish up with some 400 and we'll be ready for take this to primer. Again, continuing to work in a cross hatch pattern. And that is real good right now. Okay, we've got this all prepped and ready. We've, uh, we've taken the dent, we are, and then we've prepped the metal beneath it, filled the dent, and then block sanded it out. If we were going to then uh, we're going to complete this hood, we would next take it to a primer surfacer, which is a heavy primer. And then after it was sprayed with the heavy primer surfacer, again we would block it out. And we may apply two or three coats of primer surfacers until we got, or we are sure that we got every last defect out of it. But from here, she's ready to go.